Welcome back traders and in this video we're going to be taking a look at some more Premier Ultra League battles in the Go Battle League going 5-0, 4-1, 4-1. Let's get it. Getting tons of points. What team was it? Well, it's going to be that Toxic Croak, Shadow Executor, and Crustal team. Let's go. And I'll have all the IVs as well as the movesets on the side here so you can take a look. So we're going to be leading with Crustal the entire time. We're going to be taking a look at the 5-0 first, kind of a little bit backwards that we usually typically do. I uh, put the 5-0s at the end. We're going to just look at it right off the bat, and then we're going to get into those 4-1s here. We just... Uh, this team is killing it, guys. Like, seriously. I decided to go with it again today because it did perform very well yesterday. I just needed to get the hang of it a little bit more. And, well, we, we did great. We did great. We're sitting above 2,500 points for the Go Battle League. So we're looking fantastic. All right, as far as the lag, let's talk about that before we get into the commentary. I know a lot of people are having issues with this. I know there's a lot of concerns, and I am concerned too because, you know, I'm running into it here and there. But I, I got to be honest, like I'm personally, personally not really getting a ton of it. I'm having sets where it's horrible, right? It, it messes up my entire set, and it's just bad. I can't tap the charge move. Um, I'm going to say about 75% of the time it's okay. That doesn't make it better. But for these specific sets here, I may have missed a quick move or two here and there, but for the most part, they ran smooth. Not too sure about my opponents, but it looked pretty legit on my end, uh, as well as theirs, from my perspective to theirs. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get into the commentary. They're going to be swapping, because we had a fantastic lead up against that Charizard with the Crustle. We're going to do a ton of damage with that quick move up against it. They're switching out immediately into their Tangrowth, and we're going to go into our Executor here. We're going to go straight for the Psychic. Seed Bomb will do decent damage, but it's not going to quite KO. We probably could have gotten away with that, but we don't necessarily need to hoard energy here. Getting off a, a Seed Bomb would have been okay, uh, but we're fine. Well, all we need to do is go back in here with the Crustle. Having less HP on our Executor is good, so they can't farm us. They're going to be going for a Dragon Claw. We call that very good. We still have two shields, and they have a Shadow Executor in the back. Now check this out. This is why you don't back out too early. Now technically they could have maybe won. I had a Toxicroak in the back and that's a Shadow Executor. It only takes a few confusions and they could have confusioned me down. They still had two shields. So just a word to the wise. I, I probably should keep my mouth shut about this, but you don't want to back out until it's over, until it's over. In some situations, sometimes you know it's over. Anyways, into the next battle here. Uh, so we're going to be going for the x or met with a Glade in the lead here. I don't really mind this, you know, so much. We're going to be taking decent damage from that Leaf Blade. Of course, close combat's going to hurt. It hurts pretty much everything, even if, it, if it's resisted. Uh, so we're going to be going in here with our Executor and farming down. We're going to shield this up regardless of what they're going to be throwing at us. We want to preserve the health on this thing a little bit, seeing that they did use a shield themselves. They're going to be bringing in a Lolan Muck, and we're going to go ahead and swap into our Toxicroak here. We can take anything they do throw at us. It will start adding up, for sure. Uh, but our counters are doing decent damage to it, since it is going to be part dark. And then these Mud Bombs are going to be super effective, doing a lot of damage. So at this point, we can just simply farm down, and we do not have to shield this. We should have enough energy to get to Sludge Bomb. Little lag there. Did you see that? That was lovely. Uh, so we're just going to go straight for the Mud Bomb here. Onto the Swamper, because, well, I mean, uh, Sludge Bomb's not very effective. We're going to be swapping, and it eh, wasn't the best swap. Yeah, we sure we caught it nice there, but we still used our shield anyways. Uh, they're going to be swapping to maybe try to catch a charge move, but uh, that, that's not happening there. Uh, so we're going for a Seed Bomb, but we have two ready to go, and that is going to be good night. Sleep tight for that Swamp Bird Water and Grass type, and we're going to be taking the win with the Executor. So I'm calling it officially. I said it in my last video, but Shadow Executor is officially my signature Pokemon for the Ultra Premier Cup. The thing is amazing. I love it. I almost want to make Toxicroak. I mean, it, it worked equally as good, but the Shadow Executor just comes in so clutch with the Confusion and the Seed Bomb, and how Seed Bomb can just be spammed so fast. And since you are Shadow, it's doing so much damage. It even threatens things like a Charizard or a Dragonite. Even though they have a massive resistance to grass, it's because that Shadow damage is just hurting so much. I just love it, guys. I'm literally trying to find teams to work around it so we can fit it in and continue to use this Shadow Executor. It has a lot of resistances. And it also has a lot of weaknesses as well as, well as the 20% extra damage that it's going to be taking being Shadow. So they're going to be bringing in Charizard here. We get that shield. We're going to be bringing in our Crustle. And this put a smile on my face. It really depended on what they had in the back. Uh, win or lose this battle here. But it is going to look pretty good for us seeing that we're going to be getting that Rock Side. Doing a ton of damage. And since they didn't shield it up, it's looking even better for me. Because now I still have a shield and I can just simply 
smack down this thing and take the win with the crustal here simply shield this up expecting another dragon claw there it is could have survived that too but you know playing it safe here so into the next battle we're met with the machamp and i love this lead as you may have seen in my last video so we're going to go ahead and swap into our toxicroak and they're going into dragonite now we could bait with mud bomb here but we're just going to go straight for the sludge bomb all right they're deciding to use a shield that's okay uh we did get a shield out of them which is perfectly fine we do have the crustal which can handle that for sure so unfortunately not able to get to another charge move getting the crustal into battle here and doing a ton going for the x scissor right before they're able so I was thinking, okay, I think they didn't get off a charge move intentionally, so they can go in here with the Machamp while I'm still locked in and kind of just take it out. I think that's what their plan was. I don't know. Uh, so we're going to be swapping after they get off their energy, and they have a Electivire in the back. Now, I wasn't getting too nervous. I was just thinking, okay, okay, we, we got this battle. Uh, we still have our shields. We're looking pretty good. We have to look out for this Ice Punch, though, because that would probably KO us. <laughs> Maybe bring us down to, like, five or something HP, but nonetheless, shielding them up perfectly fine. And we have a bunch of energy ready to go and we're gonna be going for the C-Bomb as soon as they bring in the champ here and bingo, not quite taking it out, but one more confusion is gonna finish this job. And that is our 5-0 right there. And I'm gonna tell you straight up, I had no idea this was a 5-0. I just got lost in the fun and in the battles. And then when I went to look at this, I was like, no freaking way. I got a 5-0, I jumped up, my son was there, he was playing Fortnite. He just kind of like looked over at me like, my dad's weird, <laughs> right? No, he did it, but probably. Uh, so good stuff. Really happy about that. And let's get it. Let's run it with this team. If you want to know what my official score is for the Go Battle League, this is it right here. So 2,507. All right, now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the battles that we did have before that 5-0. and See what we have going on here. These are going to be four ones, as uh, we said in the beginning of the video. So let's see. Met with a Gengar here. And I'd rather have this matchup. I guess up against the Executor. Uh, we're going to be doing a ton of damage with the Executor, but also taking a ton of damage because of Shadow and Psychic. Uh, so this is a good matchup for us as well here. They did go for that Shadow Punch, and I'm going to brave this one out here, and I'm going to say, you know what? I'm going to let it go through. We're going to be able to survive that Smackdown. Let's go, X Scissor. Do you really want to use a shield on a Gengar with about 3 HP? No, you do not. Fantastic. They used the shield. We didn't. And now we're just going to simply, we can go Toxico. We can go Executor. We're in the most comfortable position that we can be. So we're going to go ahead and shield this up so we can farm down and get off the charge move on to whatever they have back there. Expecting them to swap and there it goes their uh, Tangrowth. So we're going to go ahead and go Psychic here, swap into our Toxicroak, farm down the rest of the way. And there's nothing that the Machamp can do. They go ahead and back out, realizing that I won that one there. Good game. Moving it into the next one here. Let's see what we're going to be met with. And it's going to be a Stalin. Now, there we go. There we go. That is some spice right there. Something new. Something fresh. I have never battled this in Premiere, I don't think. Battled it before randomly, but I don't think in Premiere. Uh, but anyways, uh, let's go ahead and see what we can do here. I didn't know what to expect. They're hitting me with a wild charge. Okay. Uh, so we're just going to truck on here. Getting to that rock slide. Let's see if they want to double shield their Stalin. And they do. Okay, that works. <laughs> that works fine. That thing's normal type. So we're going to go ahead and bring in Toxicroak. And... I think we will shield this up, or we're letting it go through. Okay. All right. I thought they were going to hit me with a body slam. I think that's what they have. So we're able to farm up. Didn't call that correctly in the commentary here. Letting it go through. Toxicroak looking real low. Bringing in the Executor. Now, this is fine. They have no more shields, and if we have an energy advantage with Executor, it's GG anyway. All right, so it's a Venusaur, so Ultra GG. Going to be getting off this Psychic here. This is absolutely going to easily take them out. And we're going to be able to take out that Charizard with a Confusion and GG's Executor taking the win up against a Charizard. Into the next battle here. Let's see what we're going to be met with. A Kingdra. And eh, this is okay. I mean, they're going to be doing super effective with the Octazuka, right? So it's kind of a bit of a, nu a nuisance, I suppose. Uh, but we got to work around this. So hitting us with that. There it goes. We did not get the attack drop. So that's good. Uh, going for a rock slide here, and they're not shielding up, which I was like, okay, that sounds good. We do have an Exes ready to go, which we're going to just hit immediately. It doesn't matter what it is because we have, what, one HP? So we're just going to get this off and I uh, do believe just let them take us out here. Why would we lock ourselves in? All right, so we can go with either Toxicroak or 
Executor. Toxicroak is going to be doing super effective with the Mud Bomb, and then the Executor would be doing super effective with the Confusion. But I decided to go with the Toxicroak because we'll be, we will be resisting the Quick Move uh, and potentially the Charge Move. So they're hitting us with a Thunder Punch, which was expected here. Uh, but I didn't want to risk it with the uh, Executor out there. We're just going to hold on to that for now and just absorb all these. I do believe I shield this one up, though. Yeah, we want to keep that health. And now we swapped so we can take them out. They use their energy. Beautiful. And we're able to gain our own energy. And <laughs> they have an obstacle to the back. I mean, this could... No, no, we got this. All right, since their shields are down, if they had a shield, yeah, they probably could win. Maybe. Uh, but we do have the Toxic Croak in the back, which is going to be doing a ton of damage with counter up against that Dark and Normal type, which is going to be taking a lot of damage from fighting. So this is obviously going to KO, no problem. And we're bringing in our Toxic Croak. We have one shield left. Beautiful. Shielding this up, even though we would have easily survived that and taken them out with the counter. Alrighty, moving it into the next battle. Let's see what we're going to be met with. It's going to be a Swampert. This is not good. Uh, let's see if I'm going to be able to win this one. So I'm going into my Toxic Croak. And they're going to be gaining energy and then swapping into their Glade. Now, I went for Mud Bomb here. Every time I go for Mud Bomb, they keep letting it go through. I should start going for... Uh, Sludge Bomb. <laughs> All right, let's, let's one-shot those things over here. I mean, come on. I keep messing it up. Uh, but it can't be psychic, right? So we're going to let that go through. We're still holding on to two shields, and so are they. And they have an Alolan Muck back there. And I'm like, I don't know about this, man. Uh, this isn't looking good. So we're getting off the psychic here, and we're going to be swapping into our Crustal. And let's play this as the best that we can. Uh, the Swampert is loaded on energy, and it is also going to be doing super effective damage to me with the hydro cannon so they have a hydro cannon ready to go i would assume and now they're just building up extra energy at this point so we're going to go ahead and let it go through uh this is uh, uh not uh, not happening yeah i still have two shields do you see that folks that's what i get for not using my stinking shields and i back out in a rage because i'm disappointed in myself for not using them next battle we're met with a venusaur and this is another kind of iffy one for crustal uh, but the iffy battles, it does, it, they don't really matter. Uh, as long as it does something, and then we can go in there with the two that we have in the back, which are going to be both very effective up against the uh, Venusaur, the uh, Shadow Executor and Toxic Grove. Uh, so we're holding our own over here, and they are building up extra energy, so I didn't even bother shielding because I have another one ready to go. We're going to go ahead and bring in our Executor, and we take them out. So actually, I was wrong, <laughs> okay? Or maybe I wasn't. Maybe they wanted to go in here with Charizard and Farmy all the way which is a good strategy as well. Let's go ahead and go with the Seed Bomb when we're getting a shield, like we discussed. I mean, they I don't think they're necessarily shielding the Seed Bomb, they're just shielding up a charge move that's coming at them that's could more than likely be Psychic, which would probably take them out almost in one shot, so they're playing it safe, right? Bringing in the Toxic Croak here, how are we gonna play ourselves out of this one, guys? Are we gonna lose two in a row here? I don't know, I don't think so. We got, we got two four ones here, so we're gonna be coming back from this, right? Uh, so, this is a Dragon Claw for sure. Alright, and thank goodness it is. We're farming down, and that was the play. Going for the Sludge Bomb here. And let's see... It's a Lapras! Oh, Lappy! So we swap immediately, and if we didn't have that energy ready to go on our Executor, that would have been GG's. But we did, so we're able to take out that Lapras and take the win. And we're looking good, guys. I love this team. I love Shadow Executor, Toxicroak, Crustal even. I mean, they're all fantastic. Let's go. All right. So we're just, uh, yeah, moving on up. We're on we're on a happy street right now, guys. When you do good and go battle league, you don't run into lag and anything like that, and you're very serious about it. It kind of makes your rest of your day nice. <laughs> Walking on sunshine. All right. So we're met with a Togekiss. Oh, I love I love it. They're swapping into Shadow Snorlax, and I'm just gonna go right into Toxico. Letting this go through. That's fine. Uh, we're going to be able to look at the look at the counter damage. We're just going to go straight for the Mud Bomb here, expecting them to potentially shield, but they don't. So unfortunately, ah, that's fine. Actually, that worked out good because now we do have a Sludge Bomb. Let's see if we're going to be able to get this through. Can we get it? Oh my gosh, we get it through. Toxic Coke, put it in work, taking out two Pokemon just about. Going in with Crustal and immediately taking it out. They have a Polyrath in the back. And at this point, my Switch Clock was up. I should have swapped immediately. So there's a little bit of a mistake on my end here. Oh, never mind. I got it down. I got it. All right. Never mind. They're getting off their energy. It's all good to go. We're all good. Never mind. I have it all under control. So now we're going to go ahead and go into that Executor here. Doing a ton of damage with Confusion, of course. Going to go ahead and shield this up. One Ice Punch is not going to be enough to take us out, but it will hurt us quite a bit. So we're shielding that up. Still have two shields. 
I should have just uh, confusioned, <laughs> to be honest. They let it go, and I didn't even hit bubbles because they know they, they lost there. Good game. Moving it into the next battle here. Met with a muck. So mucks are starting to become a little bit more common, and they're pretty good. That's for sure. All right, so we're going to be re resisting the poison, so that's great in that regard. Uh, so we're not going to shield anything up. I don't care what they throw at me. It doesn't matter if it's a thunder punch, if it's a sludge wave. There's the sludge wave. Resisted. Looking great. And at this point, I'm just going to farm it down. Uh, this is not a sludge wave, I, I don't think. So yeah, thunder punch. Still not enough to take us out. And we have a ton of energy. What are they going to come into the battle with? Glade. We're going to go for that rock slide. You're like, well, why not x -Scissor? Because rocks... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Glade. Clefable. Uh, but rock slide's still getting stabbed and doing a little bit more. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and bring in our Executor because Toxic Croak... I mean, it could go head-to-head, -head, but I'm, I'm trying to farm down here, and we're not going to farm with a Toxic Croak counter. So they're bringing in a Charizard. How am I going to get myself out of this jam here, folks? Or am I? So we're swapping into Toxic Croak. We still have two shields. They have one. Now, we're going to go ahead and shield this up. We can't mess around right now. Even if it's a bait, it doesn't matter. Uh, we're going to go straight for this one to get the last shield. This is a Sludge Bomb. Better shield up. No, they don't shield it. Okay, really nice call there. So now we're going to you know, have to burn two shields on the Toxic Oak because uh, the Executor. But if we bring this thing low enough, <laughs> we're just going to be able to confuse it down. Um, but they still have a shield left, so they're using it. Fantastic. All right, and this is going to take us out. We're going to go in with our Executor, farm a little bit. How is this going to work, folks? How is this going to work? And we take them out. Oh, wow. oh. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I thought they had one more Pokemon. GG's. <laughs> All right, so we're met with a Lapras, and... This is another interesting matchup with Crustle that you kind of have to have a little finesse with, I suppose. So we're going to go ahead and let that go through. It's super effective, not that good of a situation. My shards are hurting. Um, going to go for Rock Slide here. We got a shield out of them, which is fine, you know. I uh, could have went for x Scissor and baited them, but it feels like every time I do the bait and build up to a Rock Slide, they don't shield it. So we kind of waste it. Uh, anyway. Going to be going for x Scissor here. Do they want to double it up? No, they do not. And we both use one shield, so this is a great situation here. They're going to be going in with Glade. Okay, farming a little bit, which is not the best. So obviously we're going with Executor here. And uh, what's the play? Do we want to shield this up and farm all the way down? Yeah, that, that's what we want to do. We need to get that out. So they're going with Charizard. We're just going to go and get that last shield here. And swap into Toxicroak. And then hopefully get to a... Sl oh, man. Oh, man, uh, don't you think they should have built... Oh, Blast Burn. Okay, that's a Blast Burn. Okay, I thought they were going for Dragon Claw. Holy cow. Are we going to even be able to do this? This is insane. So, getting off this Seed Bomb. No, nope, no, nope. this is another one that we lost. I was very interested. I was like, I don't... <laughs> what kind of magic am I going to have to pull off to win this? So, GG's. All right. Moving it in to the next battle. We're met with a Ferrothorn. Now, this is a battle I have never done with my Crustle. So, kind of interested to see how this does play out. Got a, didn't necessarily get nervous. I was just thinking, okay, I'm not going to shield anything. We're just going to let it do whatever it needs to do to me. And then we're just going to go in with our Toxic Croak and farm down and just hit as many x scissors as we can here. Because it is going to be part grass, uh, the rock is really not doing anything for me. Uh, it's just going to be resisted by the Steel type. So, there's no other typing in there that is going to be taking super effective damage from Rock Side. As opposed to, like, say, a steel and, I don't know, uh, flying type. That would be kind of a neutral thing. You just go for rock side. Anyways, enough of that explanation. They're going in with slow bro. We're going to be getting that mud bomb off here to get a shield. Beautiful. So that's one shield. Swapping into our Exeggutor. And they have a Machamp. This is perfect. You know when you're playing Tetris and you just have the perfect piece that you needed to just get a bunch of lines knocked out? That's exactly what just happened for me when I saw that Machamp. So we're going to be going for the Seed Bomb here. And now their shields are gone. Going for another one. Then this is not going to KO because Slowbro is a, a tank. It is a tank of a, of a Pokemon. So it's going to be able to absorb that. While not taking very effective damage from Confusion. But they're starting to add up the Confusion off here. And we're able to get to another one. And this is going to secure the win. GG. Looking good. Nice Slowbro, by the way. That thing is actually really good. Power to the Confusion users. Let's go. So we're met with a Lapras here. We've seen this before. And they don't want to be in that situation. That was a very, very slow swap on my end. I could have do done that a lot quicker. I was just like, wait, was is, is that a fighting? And okay, fire. What the heck was that? Because I'm looking at the top corner here, and then I saw it, and then I swapped. So we're able to take it out. Okay. Shielding up that uh, Blaze Kick. That would have hurt us. Probably KO'd us. And they're bringing in the Gramble to 
just wipe us out. So we have to make a decision here. Uh, we're just going to go with the Crustle. Um, you are letting this close combat go through, really? All right, I could have farmed it down. Maybe. But we get this Rock Slide off just because we got to swap immediately into that Lapras here. In a one-to-one -one shield situation, it didn't have an energy advantage. GG, this is our, our game. Simple as that. Uh, the counter damage is just doing a ton. Surf is not going to cut it. Ice Beam is not going to cut it. It's going to hurt, but not quite enough. All right, so we're going to be able to get to another Mud Bomb. They're getting off their Surf, I'm pretty sure, because building up to potential Ice Beam wouldn't have, uh, would not have took too long. And maybe they even have Skull Bash, which is out of the question at this point. So not quite KO, at the, uh, but we're able to take it down with the counters. Beautiful. All right. There you have it, trainer. So if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll be keeping you up to date on everything Pokemon Go and bringing you some more Go Battle League battles. There is that Niantic deal that's happening today. Sorry, I didn't make a video on that, but there was plenty of notifications and then also in the in-game app. So hopefully you're uh, squared away on that. So thank you for watching, trainers. Be safe out there, and I'll be catching you all next time. Take care. I can't see it all.